So I've been seeing that the that the common theme and the general consensus is um you know that Isak Pitbull Cruz is somehow the weakest link in the 140 pound division. Bullshit! 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 bullshit. First off, we have Teofimo Lopez, and we see the biggest Sandor Martin where he was down. Check right hook. Me blood Check right hook. Move on to said uh, 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 Subra Matias, right? Subra Matias was down by Petros and Nanya. Me blood clot. Then let's go with last but not least, Devin Haney. Devin Haney, you know, he was wobbled by Jorge Linares. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what it is. The doctors in the house, man. Back with Doctors Boxing Talk, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Dr. Boxing Talk. So we're here to talk some boxing. Of course, y'all know what it is, man. <laughs> It's late at night, you know, I was just thinking, you know, I was just thinking about the 140 pound division, some questions that I've been getting from a lot of, a lot of the people in the community, man, so I really appreciate y'all for real, and, um, you know, I've been seeing that the, that the common theme and the general consensus is, um, you know, that Isak Pitbull Cruz is somehow the weakest link in the 140 pound division. Bullshit! 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 So I got to think, I was like, man, first of all, the 140 pound division is probably the most contentious division in boxing right now, man. It, it, oh, man, highly competitive. You know, we saw Esau Pippen Cruz become the championship, beating um, Raleigh Romero uh, by stoppage, you know, uh, TKO. And um, I was just like, man, you know, we have the champions. We have we have Esau Pippen Cruz. We have Teofimo Lopez, Subra Matias, and Devin Haney, man. You know, those, those, those are some hitters right there. But I was like, man, so people were just, just riding Esau Pitbull Cruz off. So I'm not saying that Pitbull is not the weakest link, maybe. But I'm saying there's nothing is a given, especially not in boxing. And Esau Pitbull Cruz, let's start there, right? Let's start with Esau Pitbull Cruz. We know he has a loss to Tate Davis. He has a loss early on to somebody named Mar Martinez. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No, damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? I'm not going to count him, but he lost, uh, uh, he lost to Tate Davis, right? But even besides that, you know, they went the distance. Pitbull is durable. Now, you know, of course, we know Gervonta, uh had some uh, hand issues, uh, apparently, but they still went the distance. You know, he's a heavy hitter. And then um, Esau Pitbull Cruz, you know, he, he definitely had a war with Giovanni Cabrera. He had a war with G Giovanni Cabrera. And, you know, at times he was getting out box. So and this is what I think is kind of indicative that why he as the reason this is indicative as to why he may struggle against Devin Haiti, Teofimo and Subro Matias, because Giovanni Cabrera, admittedly, he was a uh, sometime frustrating um, uh, um, Pitbull Cruz support where he was visibly frustrated. <laughs> It even gave him a headbutt, you know, I want to say like in the ninth round, but Pitbull Cruz won a, a, a close fight, you know, and uh, he was able to get to uh, Giovanni Cabrera. He was taking some shots but he, as he was getting out of box, but we know, what about Pitbull? He's very relentless when it comes to his pressure, and he's he's very durable, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Giovanni Cabrera, while he was, while he did, I would say he was a better boxer in, the, in, that, in that dance, but he had a good chin, and I would like to say, that while I can't say definitively because we haven't seen it, but I would put my money that Giovanni Cabrera has a better chin than Subriel Matias, Devin Haiti, and Tia Fibo. What did he say? Hey. Oh. You think you got a chin? Do you got a chin? Hmm? <laughs> what? You got a chin? Where? Roll the footage. So let's start off with Teofimo Lopez, man. First off, we have Teofimo Lopez. You know, we're not going to go through his whole boxing record, but of course, we've seen him against Doris Cabosas, and we've seen him against Sandor Martin, where he was down. Check right hook. Check right hook. If you want to say he had a bad night or it was a flash knockdown, it is what it is. He was still down. That's the point. So he can be touched. He can be touched. Now we know Teofibo, his strengths is that he's very, he has some great reflexes. He's very quick and he has, and he has, he has, he's definitely explosive. 
But you know what I'm saying? You know what uh, Pitbull's uh, uh, strengths are? Is that he's very durable. We never seen him really like, we've seen him, you know, we've seen him feel some stuff. We, we were like, that. he had to feel that. But he was never visibly looked like he was ever really in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So let's listen. So Teal Fibo was touched by Sandor Bar in the drop. He was touched by George Cambosa. Nigga, you gay. And I really, I personally believe that if they could touch him, I think Pitbull has a chance to touch him as well. I like you. And I want you. You know, uh, uh, pause. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so I think Pitbull definitely has a chance to just write him off to me as crazy. So let's go on to Devin Haiti. Let's move on. No, let's go say Devin Haiti for last. Let's move on to say, uh, 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 Super Matias, right? Super Matias was down by Petros and Nanyan. <laughs> And in, in the fight that he lost, right? It's his only loss. He, now he did avenge that loss. Uh, he beat he beat Petros and Nanyan, um later on. But we also see Subaru Matias against uh, uh, Ergashev, right? Now he beat Ergashev and retired him in like the sixth round, I believe. But throughout that fight, Ergashev was looking good, you know, and he, he he was touching him. That pressure he was getting to him, get some good combinations. That who's good at pressure? Eastside Pitbull Cruz. Now Eastside Pitbull Cruz is a little smaller now. It's supposed to come from one thirty five. And Subaru Matias always been at one forty. Well, that was one forty. But he's still able to be touched. Hey, yo, what the fuck? That's, that's the point. Stick with me now. And then let's go with last but not least, Devin Haney. Devin Haney, you know, he was wobbled by Jorge Linares. You know, he, uh, George Cambosas, albeit he beat George Cambosas twice. There were some instances and some points where George Cambosas was applying some good pressure and he was getting to Devin Haney. And then, you know, Lomachenko uh, stunned Devin Haney as well. So I, I would like to think that Isak Pibokuz hits harder than uh, Cambosas and, 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 and Lomachenko. You know, Jorge, Jorge Linares is pretty heavy, could be pretty heavy handed. But he, I think that his pressure is, 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 is I think Isak Pibokuz's pressure is better than his. So the point is that, that I'm making is that I don't think that all these... That, that, that he's necessarily the weakest link. And we, we've seen boxers, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think it's just, oh, he could just write him off. It's like, yeah, Devin Haney's going to definitely beat him. Now, if you ask me, Devin Haney is a sniper. That's how I cut and run. And you know what I'm saying? He's a sharpshooter. He's a sniper with that jab. Probably has the best jab in the, in the division and all the boxing, maybe. And he's gonna, he, he can't outpoint you. And that's where uh, it'll be dangerous for Esau Pupo Cruz. But Esau Pupo Cruz is gonna, he's gonna make Devin Haney have to outwork him, outmove him, you know, and, and outmaneuver him. And I think that Pupo Cruz, I think he, I, with all that being said, I do think Devin Haney beats him. I think Devin Haney outpoints him and even frustrates him a little bit, you know, and gets him out of his game. But I think that's a very close fight. Not a very, I think it's a close fight, but I think Devin Haney clearly wins. Um, now let's talk about uh, Subaru Matias. I think Subaru Matias and, and, and Isak Pippo Cruz is probably one of the most exciting fights that could be made. Uh, I, I would slightly, I would, I don't know, I, to me, I think that I would slightly lean towards Subaru Matias, even though I want to say that's probably like a 50 50 fight, but I'll say maybe like 60 40 for Matias. But um, even, even still with that, if Pippo could get to him with that relentless pressure and Pippo hasn't been hurt, which I think Subaru Matias is a big puncher now. But if if, if Pitbull could apply that pressure, man, I could see him getting to uh, break it through, infiltrate that defense of Subaru Matias and get it to him. So once again, I don't think it's just something that's going to be easy money for anybody. And then Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez, I actually think Teofimo Lopez and Subaru Matias, that's a fight I want to see the most, you know. I think that would be a good fight. But even with Teofimo Lopez, I think Isak Pitbull Cruz, man, like, like I said, the pressure that he will apply will make that very interesting, and the and the fact that he he's relentless. Uh, Teofimo will have to fight. He would have to use his boxing capability, and we know sometimes Teofimo comes in comes in a little lackluster, you know. And, and I think that uh, if he does that against Pitbull, it could be advantageous for Pitbull. He will take he would take advantage of that. So um, Teofimo, I think beats Pitbull. Super Matias, I think he does kind of too. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think Devin Haney definitely beats a uh, 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 Pitbull. So and with that said, I think Devin Haney is the best at 140. Uh, at 140 right now how, as it sits so y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments my point i know y'all say probably like oh well, you just said that they could all be pitbull anyway shut up bitch <laughs> oh my God. But no, my point is that it's not going to be a wash. I don't think that, I think it's very, I think it's highly competitive. And I think that uh, Pitbull definitely has a chance. You know what I'm saying? But but the smart mode would be on Devin Haiti. I think Subaru Matias and Isak Pitbull Cruz. I would have to lead towards Subaru slightly, but I think that's a toss up, man. And Teofimo, I, hey, it depends on what night it is. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's, hey, Isak Pitbull Cruz might beat Teofimo on a Tuesday. You know what I'm talking about? But if it's on Saturday and it's under the bright lights, Teofimo come in hot, then I, I like Teofimo. Uh, slightly, but just don't write off my boy Eastside Pitbull Cruz, man. I appreciate your argument as always. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. We out. God bless. Peace.
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.